Hello, and welcome to Some Arts. I am happy to be talking with Peter Levine and Keanu Burke from <laughs> Weird Local Film Festival, um, which is a Weird Local Film Festival, aptly named. Yes. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Trying to stay That's on weird. brand. Yeah. And there's, <laughs> there's a few events coming up, two events coming up exactly, uh, November 20th at 7.30 at the Somerville Theater, uh, as the best of Weird Local Film Festival yeah. is going to be there. And then you have Weird Local Film Festival. 11, uh, I think. 11, yeah. Uh, yeah. December 12th over at Warehouse 11, just across the alley over there. Yep. So welcome to the two of you. I know you're no strangers to the hot set. <laughs> Love it here. Very comfortable. It's a good place. Thanks for having us. Yeah. Um, so what do you want to tell viewers about what they can expect at the best of Weird Local Film Festival? Um, they can expect the best of the best. <laughs> uh, so we've been doing this for 11 times. Mm -hmm. Well, it will be 11 come December 12th at Warehouse 11. Um, but this is going to be the best of, what, the second half of that? So that we, we yeah. did this once. And it was a, a, a smash success. It was very fun. <laughs> good, uh, good. All, everybody that was there said it was the best night of their entire life. <laughs> and that was from Wilf 1 through 5. So the, the, top, uh, the top entries from those festivals. And this is going to be from 6 through 10. So just even bigger and better and weirder. Cool. Yeah. As, as selected by you all? I was selected by uh, mostly me, just because I didn't have the organization skill. But for, for the best <laughs> of, it was just uh, basically the stuff that um, I think the, the, pe the judge scores and the inner organizers seem to be most excited about. Also the audience, like the things that the audience really responded well to. So, yeah, Boston Underground Film Festival, they do a dispatches like monthly series that they mm -hmm. do around the year. And they've been really gracious. So this is the second year that they've done one of these best of screenings with us. So we're really, we're really thankful for that. It's, it's really fun. Thank you, Buff. Thank you, Buff. Go to Buff. It's not till March, but it's great. <laughs> Buff is good. So what makes uh, a film weird enough and local enough to be in the Weird Local Film Festival? That's a really good question. <laughs> this is what we struggle with every <laughs> by tri month. Um, it's the conundrum that you all face. Yeah, yeah, and this is why um, you know a lot of people uh, wouldn't set out to do something like this because it's so hard to determine such a thing. Mm -hmm. But we do determine it, and um, it's just vibes. You know, it's just what it's just whatever. It's just it's just vibes. V -I -B -E -S -Z. <laughs> And uh, it, it, there's really, it, it, to answer your question though, it, you can send in anything. Music video, narrative, it's just gotta be under 10 minutes. We don't have strict um, rules about what, it, what the content needs to be. If it's good, I mean, it's democratic, we vote on it, what's creative, what's interesting, what's new, you know? Yeah. And what um, resonates with you, and those are the ones that get in. And now we've been lucky enough to get dozens and dozens of submissions, um, and we can only let in of like 20 to 25 yeah, we have so about 90 minutes of screening time each time yeah, yeah so but yeah it's so subjective i mean it's really i think it's what tickles the judges fancies it's just yeah i mean we have we have some experimental experimental like uh, gallery video arts type, type stuff we have you know we have people that have that are submitting to more traditional film festivals as well um the weird the weird part of it i think that that can often confuse people but it's basically you know because there's just it's just allows us to have a very wide breadth of what we accept. Yeah. So weird, we do have stuff that I think is considered weird, I would I would say. But we also we have some pretty traditional stuff in there too. As yeah. long, just I think as long as it really moves the uh, the people that are reviewing it, uh, that's kind of what we show. And we're lucky that we have enough submissions that I mean it's just so many people making films around here. And yeah. It's, it's really right. wonderful. I don't know. Yeah. Hopefully good. weird is a is an inviting word to people yeah. that might um, submit their stuff because, um, you know, the people that we meet there and people are meeting each other and maybe they feel like there hasn't been a place for them to show their stuff, yeah. whether it's not online or in real life. And w if you uh, get into Weird Local Film Festival, you're going to get like over 150 eyeballs on it at least and then who knows where it could go and we try to promote these people and so if you're feeling weird or even if you don't feel weird, it's just, it's for everyone and yeah. it's uh, open invite. Very cool. And, and that you all are providing a space to 
view all this. You know, if if somebody's wanting to submit to a larger festival, there's often like a fee involved. Yeah, exactly. And there's, there's this whole other process. It seems like the barriers to entry are very low for you. Yeah, for we we try. It's free to submit. It's also free to attend. We have a uh, we have a five dollars suggested donation just so we can. Uh, you know, not, on. yeah, exactly, yeah. not not lose money on it, which we're very lucky that we have it, and it's been great. The uh, the owner of Warehouse 11, Peggy Morrissey, Peggy. has been incredibly generous with us. Um, shout out to her. Um, and she hosts a ton of really amazing events. But, yeah, it's basically, the access is really important, because, yeah, I think, uh, and especially in this time of very democratic media making, as uh, you're very aware of being, working here. Yeah. Um, People can make all kinds of stuff. They don't have to go through the same hoops that I think they had to in the past, and therefore the kinds of things they're making is less conventional or it's different. Yeah. I think with uh, the rise of YouTube and all these other things and all, the, all this sort of DIY mentality, people are making some very strange things that, unlike anything we've seen before. And traditional festivals are, are working to be able to incorporate new styles of media as well, but... Um, but yeah, it's just changing so fast. So we're lucky that it's just like, submit anything, yeah. 10 minutes or it can be, you know, it can be a home video that for some reason, just something, something insane happens in, or, a, you know, it's just, if it's meaningful, if yeah. it, if it hits a chord, you know, right. yeah, you we'll try a, to play it. You hit a really good point about the technology. Like everybody has the capability now to be a video maker. Absolutely. And to, to make a film. So coming in and, uh, <laughs> Coming in and being able to uh, provide a, a space to accommodate, you know, this, this wealth of democratic filmmakers is is pretty important. And how did that come about? Like, where did the idea to create Weird Local come from? It's a good question. Um, we needed somewhere to show our own stuff. Yeah, it, was, it started from an <laughs> yeah. ego play, a narcissistic right. place. But uh, started started small, just a few few films. Yeah, it was it was kind of uh, all all of us actually met here, as you may know, at Somerville Media Center, which was this place is amazing. Everybody yeah. come here. But we uh, yeah we we met a, a lot of us were not filmmakers at the time, and we we all wanted to get much more involved and make things, we're excited about that, and then if people watch them, that would be cool, but that's, it's hard to do, you throw it into the abyss of the internet, and it's like, maybe people watch it, maybe they don't, but, right. you know. Like, dislike. Who knows, <laughs> right. or just get yeah. buried for uh, writing the wrong word in it, not getting the right word salad right. to optimize it, so we, uh, we basically, a bunch of us got together, and we're like, we're gonna do a screening, and we were just gonna do it here, actually, at Somerville mm -hmm. Media Center, but uh, one of our friends, uh, she worked with Peggy at Warehouse 11, and she said, you should just do it over there. And we were like, oh, great. Yeah. And it was so much fun. We had a, that was a, you know, that was a great night. I don't yeah. know, the first, uh, it, was, it wasn't officially the, where, uh, the Weird Local Film Festival at that point. But yeah, it was a few longer films. Yeah, like there was. Your longer animation <laughs> yeah, that you had like, done. And yeah, Dave, actually, you, you went yeah, there. there. Yeah, yeah you yeah, were there. Thank, thank you for night. coming to that. Yeah, but yeah that, was, that was, it sort of was like the aha moment. And yeah. I, yeah, I don't know. No, yeah, just again, Peggy is the best uh, proprietor of Warehouse 11, and knowing her and her embracing uh, us so quickly, and she had known some of us through different things, but immediately she's the one to say, please come back, do it again, how yeah, can we, we make it better? I'm always like she's worried so we are we are outstaying our welcome, our charm is wearing off on her. I'm always <laughs> afraid, because it's just, she's so generous, we're, we, this wouldn't, work if we didn't have such a like unique space. Yeah. yeah. I think a lot of the magic is in what Peggy does there. And so we, you know, based on the the time where now the technology's there and people tons of people are making films. Yeah. And the fact that Peggy just has been so charitable, we've just gotten incredibly lucky and it's so much fun and we just want as many people to come and yeah. be a part of it as possible. Cause it's it's especially where like venues are such a premium these yes. days. And, like you know, they're closing all around us. Too. Yeah, there's there's not a lot of DIY spa maker spaces yeah. or places to show your so stuff. So it's so it's so valuable. Yeah. yeah, we feel so I mean we feel we I think we recognize how lucky we are to be able to uh pay it forward and also we're we're part of it too. We get to yeah. we get to show our stuff as well, which is great.
And once upon a time, the mayor gave you a shout out on Facebook, yeah, that was, right? <laughs> I think it was, it was like the 4th of July fire. Yeah. He was like, <laughs> He's like, oh God, we got it. Film festival. One of his assistants like got on the calendar and like, yeah. oh, this is happening. This yeah. sounds yeah. safe. Exactly. <laughs> Facebook events. We were actually really concerned because I, I was worried. I mean, some of our content is definitely 18 plus. Right. So I was worried yeah. a bunch of families were going to come <laughs> in. Uh, that love for Mr. Mayors was a big It was one. really nice. I, I, I'm, I'm just anxious. So I... <laughs> When they did that, I was like, "Oh no!" And then from then on, I put eighteen plus on the on oh, yeah. the good, description. Good. Yeah. Some suits through here. Yeah, I was. I actually, I think, like Here's about a third of the way in, I like asked. I was like, "Did anybody come here based on the mayor's like social media announcement?" And nobody raised their hand. I'm like, "Oh, <laughs> all right, well, that's okay. That's okay." The mayor's stamp I, of approval wasn't what it once was. Well, <laughs> <laughs> no, I, I just, uh, yeah, I was, I was, I was concerned there were some families that were coming in for some good old fashioned fun, and then we we have like a bunch of like. Like farting like <laughs> blobs on screen for five minutes. Like I, I don't know if that's necessary <laughs> for them to experience. Also fun for the family. Yeah. Yeah. I, maybe it would be fun. <laughs> Different <laughs> strokes, I guess. Uh, any any final words on uh, on these two events that you have going on uh, in the later this month and then into December? They're going to be awesome. Come through. First ones at Somerville Theater yeah. in Davis, and. Uh, Wilf number 11 at Warehouse 11 is December 12th at, I just said Warehouse 11, Warehouse 11. right next to SMC. And thank you, SMC, and thank you, Dave, and yeah. SMC for being so supportive. If you, if you are interested, if anybody watching is interested in submitting or attending, um, in order to uh, be considered to be on the screening, you would send a film of any genre, 10 minutes or less, to uh, weirdlocalfilmfestival at gmail.com. Uh, by November 21st, that's our submission deadline. So November 21st, it's free to submit, just send a video link. It, you can have screened at other places, you can have it on the web, it doesn't, we don't care. Animation, real people, music, silent, black and white, just video. It could be your pocket for three minutes. Yeah, big, big money, <laughs> you know, big production staff, big small. No money, no production staff. Like, we, we, we want, it's about access, it's about you know, making something meaningful with what you have. Right. Big money too, right? <laughs> but yeah, we if anybody wants to, <laughs> we, we can't money. solicit. We can't solicit sponsorship <laughs> here now. No, but, just, uh, but yeah, please uh, submit and uh, attend. It's it's I, I believe I know I'm. We're obviously biased, but it's a really fun night. I don't know. We're on Instagram and Facebook. All right. And email. Very nice. <laughs> <laughs> the weird local film festival. Get out to these two events, November twentieth and December twelfth. <laughs> <laughs> thank you, Peter. Thank you, Keanu. Thanks, Dave. Appreciate it.